Hi, uh, this is Sean with uh, IOP Marketing, and uh, I wanted to share um, Podio with you guys. Um, Podio is a project management suite. Uh, it has a ton of built-in applications, um, applications that other people have built to go along with what you need, um, and it, it's extremely uh, versatile. Um, this is something that uh, we are actually going to start using for our project management. Uh, this is a, uh, a new system that I've put together from uh, apps that were already available and I've modified some. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just going to walk you through it real quick. Uh, this is my activity stream um, for uh, as soon as I as soon as I open up my uh, my web contracts uh, workspace. And uh, I have uh, employees, I have um, tasks that are available, new files that were added, um, hours that have been uh, put in. Um, and uh, it all starts with the projects tab that uh, I have I have added my projects to. Um, this one we're going to work on the uh, Hickory Creek uh, Child Care Center. Um, and you'll notice when I click on the project, um, I have my definition, I have my files, I have tags, um, and then I have related items. And this is one of those things that sh that just makes Podio work so well. Um, where you see here where it says uh, buyer personas, <clears throat> if you come up, let's click off of that, and I actually open up my buyer persona um, application here, You'll see that I have this this gemstone here. Well, this system did, does not automatically tie to my projects. However, I edited the application and was able to just integrate them together. So if I go to add a new persona, I can fill in all my information about my demographics. Um, challenges, uh, common objectives, stuff like that, um, what their average spending is. But then I look down here under project relation. If I click on it, it's you can see all my projects that are listed on here. And I added this field in literally like two clicks. Um, I can also add more to it. So if I also wanted to tie this to a specific campaign uh, or a social campaign even, I can add that in here and I'll show you how to do that real quick. So let's uh, let's modify this app and I'm going to look down here right under project relation. If I click on it, I can see that, oh, campaigns is already in there, so it's projects. But uh, let's also add, um, oh, just for kicks, we'll add timesheets just so you can see it. <coughs> So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to save that. And now when I go to add a persona, I should also see there's my timesheets. That's how simple this is. That's how simple it is to tie these apps to each other. Um, if I go to, uh, let's, let's see one where maybe I don't already have it connected. Uh, I don't believe I have meetings connected to that app yet, so we'll uh, we'll pull that up here. Okay, so here's my meetings, and if I add a meeting, uh, you'll see that it's not tied to a project, and I could add projects into the related deliverables if I wanted to, but I want it to be a completely separate item on here. So whenever I'm adding a meeting, I want to be able to tie that to a specific project and have the related deliverable separate because I can only pick one. So let's go ahead and modify this app. And then there's your related deliverables. And we're going to add an app reference. Let's drag and drop it. I'm going to call this um, related project. 
under the app reference we're going to choose projects and under the explanatory text we're going to say um, select the project this meeting is related to and uh, we can mark this as required but uh, the meeting name may not be tied to a project directly so uh, we're going to save that app and now when we go to add a meeting and say meeting with John um, on the 17th I'm gonna be in attendance um, agenda uh, project layout and we can add the minutes and notes later um, you can add a location related deliverables um, since I don't have any deliverables in there right now we won't do that and then related project. Well, this is the project we're working on, so now we can have that tied to everything. And now there's our meeting. Now, when we go back to projects, we can see that under related items, we have meetings. And so every single meeting, every single item, every single inspiration, every single, what else we have here? Timesheet, deliverable, um, artwork, uh, it's all tied to that one project now. So anytime I add that field into any of these apps, I'm done. Uh, and that brings me to one more final great point about Podio. They finally added the ability to sign off on artwork. So now we can actually get artwork approval from a client inside Podio without um, having to manually do it or scan it and send it to them. We can actually just send them a link to this artwork that we've just added and they can pull it up without being actually invited to the full workspace because we don't want them to be able to see everything that we do on the back end we just want them to be able to see this artwork and approve it so um, here's where we put in like um, our proof uh, the producer would be me uh, deadline uh, owner uh, which is not really necessary we can give a brief on it we can give specifics. Um, if it's copy, we can just paste the copy in there. Uh, if we want to add a screenshot, we can. And then um, the <clears throat> we can just uh, send them the link to this and be done. You know, waiting for approval, and then. Uh, uh, this is where you'd also add people outside. I'm sorry, on the producer. This is where you would add, um, you know, like John at K1.net. Okay, so it, it it's really that simple. Um, and then they can they can go in and it'll be approved and it'll show up in your activities list and it, it's good. It's a great breadcrumb trail. Um, great paper trail so uh, if you are not using Podio it is free free up to three users and if you go beyond that it's really not expensive at all especially for what you get um, I believe that they're also working on uh, uh, the ability to pay through Podio um, I don't know how far they've gotten with that but uh, I will uh, try to keep you informed. So uh, it's it's a great system. Um, you you can create different workspaces, different um, different apps for different workspaces. And uh, I'm actually going to um, uh, produce this set of apps to the public so that you can uh, you can tie it all together uh, as soon as I make sure that all the apps are tied to the projects. Um, so. If uh, this looks like a setup that might work for you, then you'll be able to download this, and I will put that in the link for uh, the video. Gracias.
Have a good evening. I know I will.